The Khasi Hills Autonomous District Khasi Inheritance of Property Bills 2021 has been referred to further scrutiny by the Selection Committee. The a key highlight of the bill is the fact that it seeks to disinherit a Khasi woman who has married a non-Khasi and has adopted the customs and traditions of her non-Khasi husband from inheriting the entire property or a share of the property. Well, uh, talking to newsmen, uh, KJDC Chief Executive Member Titos Tawil Shine uh, said that the bill has been referred to the Select Committee. China highlighted uh, the fact that the KJDC does not want to rush to pass this bill as it is a very important bill related to the customs and traditions of the people. The KJDC CEM added that this move will allow the select committee to discuss and get the opinion of all the stakeholders related to this bill besides people who were concerned with the customary law. You see, uh, why we refer this bill to the select committee? The first reason is that because the short notice of the copy of the bill to all the members. Because I'm surprised because the bill was circulated on, the, on Monday. So actually, we have circulated since last week, but uh, I don't know to, due to some reason, I think. So the members have received the copy of the bill only on Monday. So it is a, a good point, it's a good reason that the members have not yet time to study carefully the bill, to go through the bill. So I feel it's better to give some more time for the members to go through for the bill. Secondly, this is a very important bill because it's related with the custom, the usual practice, uh, the usual customary practice of our people, the Khasi people. So I feel I would like not to rush to pass this bill at this juncture. It will give a chance for the uh, select committee to get the opinion of all the stakeholders, especially the elders, especially the legal advice, and even the uh, social organization who are concerned with uh, our customary law. The HDC chairman also added that the select committee will have a sitting next week to discuss the matter. Well, Tito Stavlshine also added that the main objective of the bill is to streamline the customary laws. So after we table the, the bill, there's another process that all the members got a chance to bring any amendment or like what we have done today to refer to the select committee. So after we refer to the select committee, it will give a chance for public opinion also. I think by next week or maybe after the uh, holiday, because this week we'll have holiday. So I think by next week we will sit the first meeting of the select committee. Objective of the bill is only to streamline the customary practice, how we inherit the property, whether it is a self-acquired property or the ascenders uh, property, to among the children, among the siblings, equally from their parents. So, because their usual practice is that it's different. Meanwhile, Congress's PNCM, who is the leader of the opposition of the KHDC, said that the bill was circulated for only a short period and that the party needs to go for in-depth study to pass an acceptable bill. 
CM said a better language needs to be framed as to not interfere in the personal life of an individual. The leader of opposition in KJDC added that there is a need for more study and discussions on the matter. CM added that the Congress does not endorse the idea to go with a new practice of giving the property and all the children getting equal property. Our main intention, why we refer to the select committee, number one, the bill has been circulated only four or five days. So we need in-depth study so that we can come up with a beautiful, acceptable inheritance bill. Number two, when I go through the bill, it seems that it is not only codification, mean confirmation on what we practice during the time of embryo, but uh, there are some new um, modified uh, clause that is not suit with our system. So these are the main reasons that we need to uh, push it to the select committee so that in the select committee we can study it properly. We can call all the stakeholders. We can uh, call some few traditional experts so that we can come up with a beautiful bill, acceptable to all. So we need some kind of language to use so that it will not directly interfere with the law of affair of uh, our children. No? Yes, very much. We don't want to disturb, we don't want to spoil, we don't want to do away the present custom. But we need to improve here and there that we should not exploit anyone in the family. That is our uh, main objective of the bill. We should not do away with the system, but at the same time, we should not uh, uh, forget that at least male or female they should enjoy at least some right in their heritable right. So this bill uh, in its present form uh, needs to be uh, amended? Yes, that's why he said to he said to this need to be amended in some section and some subsection because it should be balanced. Huh? You should not do away with the tradition and you should not be too much on tradition also.